Good morning, dudes. How is it going? Today we're playing Undying. We're going into the bottom line, and today's episode is sponsored, brought to you by the Choro, who wanted to see an Undying Venomancer line, which is why we're playing Undying, and we got a Venomancer on the line, and we also picked up our heroes. They kind of work well, so we got the most annoying team fighting slowing team ever. And as per usual, since this is all picked, we got kind of counter picked a little bit. Not too, not too bad, but a little bit, you know. That's okay though. It's okay though. We should be fine. Anyway, uh, just a few other announcements that I um, announcements that I they really want to make. So first of all, go to YouTube.com/slash Balmy. Boom, baby! I got it. I got the link. I'm so happy. So it's gonna be so easy to actually link me now. It's just YouTube.com/slash Balmy. Boom. <laughs> After five years, <laughs> finally got that link, so that's really cool. And uh, I know that actually makes me really, really happy. Yo, we need we need somebody down here. Frey, can you come? Yeah, yeah, Frey should be able to. Wipe her up there, it's just fine. Ba -ba -ba. So this is going to be actually really difficult. But I think it should be fine, you know. Uh, the thing is, Undying is actually a hero that really likes these big lanes, right? The more heroes there are, the better Undying becomes. Because this ability, the, the decay is just insane. Now, another another thing that I just want to tell you about. Um, tomorrow, on Saturday, the 4th of October, uh, I'm going to be joining a few people on a charity stream. Like Dota type thingy, of course. And they're gonna be like so action slacks and, and blitz and all kinds of people are gonna be joining in. And again, it's for a charity. I'm not like I look. I know what it is, but I cannot pronounce it, and I'm not even gonna try. Now I'm gonna instead I'm gonna link down the description the, um, the Twitch channel where we're gonna gonna do that thing. And. It's going to be a 24-hour event. I will not be there for the full 24 hours, of course not. But the thing is that I'm actually uh, I'm going to be there, f I think, from the like at the very start, because this starts based on the US time. So I'm going to be there for like four hours then. I'm not entirely sure for how long, <laughs> but I'm going to be there for a while uh, during the first few hours. And then actually later on, once I wake up again and a new day begins in Europe and those guys are still going at it in the middle of the night, I'm going to join them um, again. You know, should, just to help them out some more. So I will, of course, then post videos for you guys to come and uh, well hang out once I'm on the stream. Since I guess some of you might be interested in something like that, and um, that sounds like a pretty fun event, honestly. Oh, can we get this guy? Yes, sweet. And do you see? This is why I love Undying. This is so cool. You just sit there and you beat the living shit out of everybody. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> Undying is so awesome in these lanes. He's the greatest. He does not give a shit. Now, of course, I know we're not actually playing Venomancer Undying anymore. I'm really sorry. But we got a Venomancer and we got an Undying. <laughs> it counts, right? Oh, man. Undying is so good in tri lanes. It's insane. He just sits there, you know, and he's like, yeah, fuck it. Let's fight. I'm okay with this because he just benefits so much from a lot of heroes being there. Undying is the hero, like the number one hero if it comes to long fights, right? He's gonna win every single one of those. He just wins them because, well, give me all of your strength. Oh, okay. Hit the slow on that, I believe. So, all we need is well, a few hits, apparently. So, that should do it. Yeah, I'm just not even gonna pursue that any further. But yeah, I would really appreciate it if you guys could come hang out on the stream. That would be fantastic, of course. Since uh, as long as you're on the stream, right, and you watch the advertisements, you don't even need, really need to donate because, like, that's kind of a little bit of it, right? If we get enough viewers, then there's going to be a decent amount of money coming in through that. So yeah, that's just something. But um, I'm actually looking forward to that. Like, I think that's going to be fun and... And I'm hoping that you guys are gonna think uh, it's fun too. Like that would actually be great. <laughs> like, I would really, really be happy, like if that happened. So yeah, so yeah. Uh, but of course, I'm gonna upload videos then. But I'm just gonna put the Twitch chat down in the description. Not uh, Twitch chat, a uh, Twitch link down in the description. You can go follow that or something um, if you feel like it. Of course, again, I'm gonna notify you. But that's that's gonna be about it. Yeah. So as for the game, our team is obviously very much an early game team. We want to finish this game quickly. Now, this is going to be difficult because as I already mentioned, uh, we got kind of counterpicked. Bristle deals really well with uh, 
any early early fights, right? Because he's just super powerful early on. And Dragonite, great uh, great counter pusher actually. And then of course the Ancient Apparition is gonna shut down most of our healing, which is kind of shitty. But hey, I think we should be okay. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, <laughs> this is the most painful way of killing anyone ever. <laughs> uh, but hey, actually, ah uh, nope, 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 nope. Yeah, the tombstone is not powerful enough yet. But hey, we actually... I mean, we got the, the Dragon Knight again. As long as we continue like this, it's gonna be perfectly fine. So, I'm gonna get the Mana Boots right here. I usually prefer... So, by, by, by the way, um, I think the Crimson Guard is awesome on Undying. It just works really well. So, I tend to go for a Vanguard first, you know, get the Ring of Hell or anything. But right now, since we got three heroes and I can't afford Mana Boots... Those are going to be super useful. They're going to be really powerful and help out not only me, but those other two heroes as well. And that's just that's just something I, I don't really feel like passing up on, so I just go ahead and do that. <laughs> just go ahead and do that. Now, Undying is, is very similar to Necrofoss, actually. He just needs to survive, right? As long as you're alive with Undying, you win the fight. That's just it. Undying works on a timer, right? Like, as long as you survive 4x with Undying, you will see that you come into a situation where, holy shit, actually, we are just starting to overpower anything. Like, it just doesn't matter what's going on right now, because, no, I'm winning. Since the longer the fight goes, the more decay I, got, uh, I throw out there, right? And the more decay I throw out there, the weaker any enemy heroes become and the stronger I become. So it's not just a matter of I'm trying to kill the enemies before they kill me. No, I'm just trying to, like, make them so weak that they are dead. <laughs> and simultaneously, I grow stronger and stronger and stronger. And that's where really the beauty of Undying lies to me. That fact of, well, yeah, I just, I just need to live long enough. And that fight is in the bag. <laughs> I lost my 10-win ten, ten streak. I'm so sad, too, because that was a game we could definitely have won. But Bob fucking threw it. I blame Bob for that one. I didn't record that, by the way. I wasn't even recording, just playing, right? Just playing with a bunch of friends. And Bob fucking threw it. And he threw my 10 win streak away. And still, I still hate him for this. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. So, yeah. Oh, are we going for this? I guess we can. Oh, yeah, you're done. Yeah, you are done. Good, sir. Can we maybe get this guy, too? I mean, he's got a bunch of zombies on him. Mm, no. <laughs> okay. Well, that is unfortunate. I love this, this tombstone, by the way. One of you gave this to me. And it's actually one of the coolest looking items in the entire game. Isn't it? Like, it's great. It also gives you different zombies. I really like this. And I... I saw, like, this is the Pale Mausoleum. Mausoleum? Mo I don't know how to say that. Mausoleum? Uh, it's actually a... I think it's a German word, but I'm not too sure. Uh, I guess everything derives from Latin anyway. Uh, but the, the thing is that... <laughs> I actually went into the loadout screen, right? And the load, sc loadout screen at the beginning, they're like, you can, you can buy these items for this hero. And in general, I'm cool with that, right? I totally get it. You don't have to make money somehow. And that's perfectly fine. Oh, hello there. Okay. I need some heals. Nope, that is not a heal. Ooh. Yo, Frey, you gotta heal first. Gotta heal first. <laughs> that's unfortunate. If, I, if he had healed me right there, I think we could have really turned that around. But, now, nah, well. You know, you try and oftentimes it just doesn't actually work out. It's a shame, but I think it's okay. And oh, actually, that is not too great. So let's just go ahead and see if maybe we can fight that. Now, the problem right here is that the tombstone is actually not not ready. Now, uh, by the way, for my skill build, I think there's actually something worth pointing out. Usually, I like getting two points into the sword before I go for the tombstone at all. But I felt that in this lane, right, I needed the tombstone. And I it was a try lane, so I'm not getting that many levels. I'm just not. So, I can either... Delay the tombstone forever, right? And just not get it in any reasonable amount of time at all. Or just say, fuck it. You know? Okay. 
Let's just get one point into the soul rip then and just go for the tombstone right away. And I'm not sure if that was the right decision to make, but eh, it's been working, so whatever. Uh, the thing is always right. Yeah, okay, it, it works. But does it work better than the alternative? That's really the question, you know? <laughs> like I can't buy Dagon on any hero and say, well, uh, getting kills? Well, yeah, shit, man, that's what that item does. But would you be getting more kills with another item? That's really what matters here. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's get this going. I uh, got the Bloodseeker already. Yep, that, that is awesome. Now, Bristle is actually super annoying because those Quill Sprays actually kill my zombies. <laughs> yeah, this is stupid. Oh, we're gonna get frozen. Oh, maybe not. Ah, come, come on. Yes, got him. Sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. Okay, let's send the courier to the... To the secret shop. Mana. Got some mana for you guys. And oh hello there, buddy. No. No, you're not doing any of that. Yeah, but, but let's go ahead and send the crew to the secret shop. And of course, as I already mentioned, we are going for the Crimson Guard right here. I really like this item. Oh my god! Can you stop being silly? Frey, Frey, what did we just talk about? No. Now, yeah, you would have had enough mana if you hadn't used the repill, though. <laughs> oh, dude. Dude, in general, heal, okay? Heal. That is more important. But yeah. But you're... Okay. Okay. Anyway. I don't... Yeah, okay, it might have been just out of mana, but in that case, he could have waited, like, one more second. It would have been just fine, you know. The thing is that he had, like, a 100 mana, and he needs 90. Your mid -tower's coming apart. And if we take 50 away, then he would... Uh, well, if, if we add 50, I guess, then he would be at 150, and that's enough, you know? <laughs> You can't cast the spell and then afterwards say you don't have mana to cast the hour spell. No, you need to look at that beforehand. As it just doesn't really make sense. Uh, well, ah, it's not too big of a deal. You know, it's just kind of... It's a little silly because I think we could have turned that around and holy shit, Bloodseeker deals so much damage. I really like that hero. Right, I already mentioned it a few times. So I think Bloodseeker is super powerful. Like, I really do. It's just, I'm still wondering, like, where do I actually put him, right? What what do I do with Bloodseeker to make use of that hero? Yeah, it's a difficult call, you know. It's a difficult call. Anyway, we got this tower. So I guess uh, mid is also down. There's a boost and there's only top left. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Ah, I suppose that's fine. Oh, there we go. Again. Holy shit. Could you stop that? He hit so fucking hard. He's obviously maxing the blood rage. Like <laughs> That's what's happening here. But that is just silly. Okay. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm fine with just continuously sapping their strength. Can we get this guy? Uh, probably not. Probably not. Okay. Voila. Let's just work towards the bling, uh, the Grimson Guard, right? If we if we get that, we're gonna be in a great position. We're gonna really be able to tank up a ton, and it helps the team so much too, right? So, really like the Grimson Guard. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm going for the Bloodseeker. Oh, I'm silenced. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, look at Bristle. Okay, heal up. And get this guy. Sweet. Bristle is just going for my zombies. Nobody. Nope. Okay. So this is gonna be it. I don't know. Okay, just punching him a bit. Oh, no. <laughs> this is just not happening. Uh, it's okay. Uh, we still won that fight and we won it decisively. You see, I love Undying. He just sits there and he's just like, no, fuck it, come at me, right? You want to fight? Let's fight. Let's make this happen. Let's see who wins. Let's see who comes out on top. That's just a great attitude. Love that hero. 
Anyway, it's time to pick up a magic wand. I really like the magic wand, actually. I think magic wand is quite essential. Since otherwise, even with mana boots, you tend to run out of mana. And especially as you move towards the later stages of the game, right? You got level 4 of the DK, which is 130, uh, not 40, 130 mana. Yeah, that adds up quickly. Like, really quickly, so. It's just nice. It's just nice to have. I don't know. It also helps, actually, like, it's, it's it's a great item, too, like, with the mentality, okay, we're just trying to be in those fights for as long as we can. Well, if you're trying to do that, then a magic wand, an item that gets, like, that heals us and continuously heals us as the fight progresses, and uh, I guess to some extent becomes stronger and stronger as the fight la lasts for a long duration, because we get more and more value out of it, it kind of, kind of sticks to that theme, doesn't it? Oh, nice. Oh, not so nice. Got him. Oh, that is also not too great. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, no. No, we can't make this happen. I'm fine. We. I think we can do this. I think we can. Okay. Bristle. Son of a bitch. Gotta get rid of him. Here we go. And... Death Prophet got the other too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why Bristle's a counter pick to Undyne. You know, he just gets rid of all of your, all of your uh, little zombies, and, and you need those guys. Well, I mean, what what is an Undyne with all his little zombies, right? What are you? Not much else. Not much else left to do you. Just kind of sit there, and you're hopeless, and it's just really sad. It's depressing. <laughs> You see your you see your life slowly spiraling out of control. All of a sudden, you're waking up at 3 a.m. in the morning, making French toast, and you're just like, "What am I doing? <laughs> Why is this happening?" And then you eat it, and you get all angry at yourself. It's just not a fun experience. And honestly, we don't need that, right? We just don't. So anyway, in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and work towards a pipe, since uh, they do have a decent amount of magic damage, and in general, pipe is one of those items you want on every team. So you see, we got a Mecha on the Viper, right? Mecha on the Viper, we got a Crimson Guard on Undying, and I'm also gonna move towards a pipe. So right now, we're actually looking at, like, the trifecta. The trifecta of necessity or something. <laughs> I don't know. There's just, yeah, well, these are just, I, I guess, a trifecta of good, really. You know? Just, these items are good. Yes. Yes, they are. The trifecta of good is not really that enthusiastic about anything. <laughs> Honestly, they just accept their goodness. Yeah, they're just good, you know. They don't really need a reason for it either. They just are, so suck it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, but uh, guys, 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 you might want to pick up a magic one. I mean, we're playing against Bristol and everything. And Skyroof. And Bloodseeker. Bloodseeker spams them all. Oh, just saying. Magic wand. We might want one. It's gonna really help ya. Oh, good. Good. Just that's what I said. Boom. I don't think we can make this happen. I think we're diving too deep. I don't have a TP. Yo, we should retreat. Okay, let's do this. Fuck it. Oh, that tombstone is out of range. But uh, we should be able to get at least one kill. Ooh, yeah, we are fine. Okay, now we should retreat. That was not a great tombstone, but... I, I thought they were going to continue chasing, right? But we immediately just turned it around and then... Well, that didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, but in the meantime, actually, we lost two heroes, which is a little odd. Uh, I guess there's not really much we can do about that, though. Uh, you know what? I should really get some TPs. I should really get some TPs. I don't know why I'm running around. Actually, I do know exactly why I'm running around without them. I can tell you precisely why. Because when I bought my Crimson Guard and my Magic Wand, as it turns out, there are only six item slots on the Courier. So I just couldn't get a TP in there. There just wasn't any space. And ever since then, I haven't gotten to a shop or used the courier. <laughs> so I just haven't had an opportunity to pick some up. Which is not really good. I should I should definitely carry around some TPs, but that's why. 
you know? It's not an excuse, it's just the reason. <laughs> oh, here we go. Can we get this guy? Probably not. Uh, Bloodseeker. Man, I hate going up against Bristol right here. Oh, wow. Yo, buddy. Wow. Can you chill your titties? Here you go. Give me that HP back. <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> Give me that HP. I mean, if I kill him, I get his... I get, you know, I get... I get, I get his HP while he's got that blood rage active. Yo, Viper, you might want to attack this tower. Good. Good. <laughs> oh, man. Here we go, got that. And fantastic, we now also do have a Hood of Defiance. So we're actually looking really powerful. Like, incredibly so. Now, all we need is the pipe, right? If we pick up the pipe, I think we're in a position where, as a team, we can actually go and maybe try to break into their base. And that's really what we have to do. This is a game that we will not win late. So we need to be aggressive early. We have already been doing a great job. Like, regarding that, but we need to be even more in their face, you know? Gotta keep pushing, gotta keep going. If we slow down, we lose, right? If we slow down, we lose. Huh? Gotta keep swimming. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. <laughs> anyway, by the way, if you enjoyed the video so far, we're 21 minutes into the video. If you could leave a rating, I would definitely appreciate it. That would be awesome. Also, I just got a message on Skype. Oh, 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 that's, that's, oh, you know what? That, that was, that was Christopher, and he was like, yeah, let's, let's, let's get that PC going, right? Let's, let's actually make that happen now. So, yeah, you're working on that. I'm so excited. <laughs> I am so excited. Oh, man. So excited for that. I really, you know, at first I was very reluctant to just say, well, I, the thing is, even if I, even if I, like, Pretend the hardest I can. I don't desperately need a new PC. But the thing is, it's just it's just reasonable to buy one now. Where I am, f like, because I know I will need one in the not-too-distant future, right? And I, I, uh, I need a PC just in general. And right now I know exactly how much money I've got available to me. So doing it right now is probably a pretty decent idea. Let's do this. Uh, tombstone. Yeah, silenced, okay. Uh, no, he's still alive, he's still alive. Got this guy. Ultimate. Got him. Uh, can we get this? Yeah, we should have him. I sadly missed, missed, missed this ability, and no. Uh, the Bloodseeker has gotten away. Wait, 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 no, he didn't! <laughs> Who do you think you're messing with? You cannot fight me! <laughs> How did we win this? <laughs> that was amazing! We won, we just won like a... Three... And lighter on a four versus five. That's crazy! Man, I cannot believe that. I didn't really do that much, I just stood there and missed a few abilities. <laughs> oh man. But you know, uh, like about the computer, like I'm just, I'm just uh, getting excited because I'm, I, I don't buy a lot of stuff, right? I save all of my money, so I just don't buy a lot of stuff. And now I'm really like, I'm just, I'm just ready to buy something big and new and cool. And I'm just sitting here, I'm just like, yes, let's, ha, ah, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, right now we're still recording. You know, gotta get some games done. Gotta get some videos done. So of course that has priority. Ba -ba -ba. So let's go ahead and push into the space, shall we? I got a pretty big creep bag, so I want to keep this alive if possible. Um. Okay. Uh, you know what's gonna stink? The freaking mark, because it's gonna be cast soon, and it's actually been super annoying. Oh, we're fighting. This is where we go. Oh, come on! Oh, I'm the only one I got hit by that. I need some heals. Frey? Oh, sweet. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Ah, still got the ultimate. Okay. Good. 
Good. Good. Who do you think I am? <laughs> you cannot kill me, for I am undying. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I love this hero, look at this shit, it's just, yep, nah man, if you want to kill me, you gotta try harder, <laughs> it's just like, it's just like they're running against a brick wall, and we're just a brick wall that's slowly moving towards you, slowly, but surely, and sometimes we shout at you while doing so, imagine that, right, it's just, you're standing there and there's just this brick wall behind you, like, turn around, why? What? Why is this? Why is this brick wall following? What the fuck is going on here? And then all of a sudden, it turns around. It's just like fuck you. <laughs> oh, we are not a nice brick wall, are we? Nah, nah. Anyway, so I think our next item is got to be like some uh, some armor. And the sword cross seems like a decent idea. You know, really go hard with with the. Oh, yeah, with the armor. Now, uh, something I tend to get, actually, is the Shiva's Guard over the Sorku Rust. Just not this game, because I don't run out of mana. You know, the magic one just keeps me going forever. Far more so than would usually be the case. Don't have to worry about mana. Have not had a single mana issue the entire game, so why would I care? <laughs> Let's make this happen. Ah, we need a creep wave, though. Can't really push in without a creep wave. Eat the sucker. Nah. Oh, well, isn't that cute? Yeah, okay. Ba, 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 ba. And it's time to go. Don't heal. Don't use that. Don't use that. Nah. That was a premature mecha. Okay, let's go in. I want to use my crimson guard. I want to use my crimson guard. Mm, come on. No, that mark. Ah, I hate that mark. It's the worst. Okay, retreat. Retreat. Uh, no, that didn't kill him. But it's gonna kill this guy. And we got the other guy. And this guy is getting out all. Get out of here! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, man. I don't know how, but we somehow managed to live through that. <laughs> Undying does not die. He's a fucking zombie, okay? Right, he's he's a literal zombie. This is amazing. Just go in and push people and push them into their face. <laughs> ah, come on, shut up and play. So, and yeah, with the Crimson Guard and the pipe, you know, I just turn that stuff on and basically my team just like turns invincible for a little bit. It's really cool. It's really cool. So, here we go. Got that. Please ignore the phone. There's not really much I can do about it. So, uh, we got two lanes of barracks down. Only one left to go. And I would like to finish my my uh, assault curas first, though. So, seems like a pretty decent idea. Why is he the quickest Venom in the world? Oh, look at that! He's actually really quick. <laughs> That's true. You need Sanction Yasha, though. Uh, I wouldn't get that on Venom, actually. It's just not a very good item. But it would be cute, you know? Just a tribute. Mm -hmm. I guess the quickest Venom is if you play a Bloodseeker Venom. You know, in Ability Draft or Legends of Dota or something like that. Ah, We gotta get the mods going again. Right? You guys want to see some more mods, right? It's just that currently there's not really a website you can use to play mods with. And the in-game version of it is still really buggy and messy. We've tried recording some of it. We really did. But it just it just wouldn't work. You know, it was so unre unreliable. It was just a giant mess. And well, as a result, it just wasn't really all that fun. And so we were like, okay, you know what? Let's wait until the shit is actually ready and good to go. But... Oh well. Oh well. So, what do we have? We've got. Oh, actually, Shiva on the death row. I didn't check for that, but that's a great choice right here. They got a lot of physical damage flying around. And and now, since I do have my Soul Cross, we got that maximum combo going on. The Aura combo. <laughs> okay then. So, is there somebody coming? Oh, there's a Skyrock Mage. 
Ah, that was too late. Oh well. Oh well. Oh, come on! Nah, these people. Oh well. Oh well. You know, let's be honest, it was over anyway. But this is just... God, at least try, you know? At least try. <laughs> You're just being a giant bitch. You're not really, like, doing anything useful. You're just being a bitch. Ah, this... This is such a good ability. You see that? It keeps silencing me. Like, every fight. It's great. Okay, got this guy. Uh, let's turn zombie again. Now, we do actually have a bit of an issue here. That issue being we are dead. I, I somehow got that kill, though. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Ah, oh, let's get back into this, you know. What's the point of staying dead right now? Oh, what's the point of death anyway? I don't know. There's no way, like, I don't, I don't know that. I'm invincible. <laughs> I am. Undying. I'm the literal undying of a zombie. <laughs> oh, man. So that was fun. Uh, it's just, look, I gotta admit, it's really, really just a little disappointing that they gave up. Right? Just at least play it out. At least play it out. You know, the worst thing that happens is that you lose. The best thing that happens is that you win. Now, you lost. So you... Took away, but if you give up, you know, you take away the possibility of the win, right? You just take that option away. It's just not gonna happen. It's just not. <laughs> so, what you do is you just say, well, no, I don't want to win anymore. Ah, come on. Come on. <laughs> and well. So that was a short game, but hey, I really I'd liked that actually. Uh, we didn't have too many of those recently, and hey, why the hell not? Right. Right. So how did we do? Yeah, we got some good GPM. It's actually kind of a silly game. Now this, by the way, this game again. I just think it's impressive how powerful Bloodseeker actually was. Right? He was super dangerous at so many points that I'm just, I just don't know what to do with the hero. But I'm very much terrified, uh, like for the time when somebody actually figures out what to do with him, because that will just not be a nice thing. For everybody that then has to be on the receiving end of it. <laughs> Anyways. So. Today's winner would be uh, Greg. Greg P. You win. What do you win? At 168. So this is 120, 150, 162, 168. No way. This is 168. 150. Yes, yes. Can I trade this? Yes. So it's it's a rifle. You can actually it actually got two styles. So you can have it uh, bright or dark. The dark one actually looks really cool. But I don't know. You know, if you want to send me a message, if you don't, then that's fine too. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this was along the lines of what you wanted for your sponsorship. I thought it was great. And well, can I actually go on a little bit of a rant about the whole winning thing? You know, the mentality is just this. People believe that if you're not doing well early on, that you lost the game. Or in this case, right, okay, we only got one barracks left. <laughs> just give up, right? What's the point? Now, honestly, no. This patch is the comeback patch. This this patch is all about coming back. And it allows you to do that better than any patch has ever before in the history of Dota. But you're not using that patch. You can abuse that patch to all hell. You know, there are theories running around that the most effective lineup you could possibly play is like four carries. Why? Because you just need to last long enough. You feed the enemy team a little. And then you kill them once, twice. Get so much money. You're fine again, good to go, get some kills, ready to win the game immediately. But if you give up, you will never see any of that happen. And honestly, like, what are you looking for in a Dota match? Is it always just about, let's win this quick, let's have a 30-minute game, boom, done, next one? Or is it about, let's go in there, and hey, this game has been going on for like 
60 minutes. Oh shit, that's a long game. It's been back and forth like crazy. And we are fighting. Got one barracks left, man. But we lost two barracks 20 minutes into the game. And we have been holding this last one for 40 minutes. You're not going to experience that game. If you give up. You're not. You will never see the full extent of Dota. You're taking a big part of this game away from yourself. I don't get it. It's beyond me. Don't give up. There's never a reason to give up. There just isn't. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating and I hope to see you tomorrow. Thank you for the sponsorship, of course.